I'm going to show you how to remove something. In this case, uh, the client wants this removed. Um, so I'm going to do it with CSS through the theme options of this theme. Uh, many WordPress themes actually have a CSS section for this, and you're able to, to do that. So let's uh, just go in here. And now, so I right click on this, um, and I go to Inspect Element. And inspect element allows me to see exactly like what is what. And I can just find kind of the container and it'll automatically highlight. So um, I know just from doing this before that uh, the accounts right here uh, is the one that's the one that needs to be taken out. So I can go to an element style right over here. And I can go to display none. Display none will just remove it. You'll see that it doesn't really remove it. But now at least I know exactly it's the element that I want to remove. So what this tells me is that I want to counter, I want to get only the ones that are with the class counts. Now I can just do a entire one putting dot counts, but I want to be more specific about that. So what I like to do is I like to go in the other CSS over here, and you just go down the list and see if maybe there's a style selector that fits my needs. And you can see right over here, if I highlight this, this is what takes control of this. If I put a display equals none, you can see they all remove. Now, one thing you should notice about this is that this one's a little bit grayed out, and this one's a uh, lot darker, and it's black. The reason why that is, is because uh, this is the one that's being activated for this entire thing. So copying this entire thing is gonna affect maybe some prices too, and in this case, we don't want to. We only want to affect these counts. So we're gonna go after this comma and select everything that's black, and we're gonna just copy and paste this. And we're gonna put a display equals none on this. Now I have this copy and paste in my like clipboard. And now I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go to theme options and um, I go to the custom CSS slash JS. Now I can do this with JS as well, but it's a little bit more difficult um, if you don't know uh, jQuery. I'm just going to paste my selector in here. I'm going to put some bars. And I'm going to put a display equals none. And hit save changes. And now we can make sure that we uh, that it'll work. Let's go back to meet the team. You can see that now it's gone. We can kind of see exactly what we did in the CSS by finding exactly what we did. So we can go over to accounts and see the HTML is still there. You can see that within um, here, you can see uh, it's like not working, but um, you can see that we have a new style in here. And that's really from the theme settings. Really, what's happening here is it's uh, pasting it straight into the document, and that's why it's overwriting everything else. Uh, but that's a little bit more on the technical level. Um, hope this tutorial helped. Uh, talk to you guys soon. Bye.